Good afternoon. I'm Gene Garthwaite, a longtime member of Spanish Fort United Methodist Church, and welcome to this session of Wednesday Wisdom. I believe I was asked to help on this particular day because it is scriptural. Proverbs 20, 29. Youth may be admired for vigor, but gray hair gives prestige to old age. And as you can certainly see, I qualify for old and gray. Several months ago, when the COVID-19 pandemic started to impact our world, I reflected back on my parents' struggles with the unknown. It was World War I, Black Tuesday, October 29, 1929, and the resulting Great Depression, unchecked unemployment, World War II, rationing, civil unrest, and rioting, to mention just a few in their lifetime. For my parents and grandparents, these were unprecedented times. The term we are currently using in 2020, our time. So let us examine who else lived in unprecedented times. How about Adam and Eve? Moses, Noah, Jesus, the 12 disciples. St. Paul, Martin Luther, John Wesley, and many, many more throughout history. What constant gave them hope, comfort, peace, assurance, and promise? Well, of course, they relied and believed that God would be with them, encourage them, deliver them, just as he does today. For we have these very words of Jesus to sustain us in our unprecedented times. From Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely, I am with you always to the very end of the age. Won't you please join me in this beautiful prayer written by Cameron Bell? Let us pray. Dear Lord, may we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those who are most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home, remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close, remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our vacations, remember those that have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market, remember those who have no margin at all. May we who settled in for a quarantine at home, remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose love. And during this time, when we cannot physically wrap our arms around each other, let us find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our friends, our neighbors, and the world. And give us the hope, comfort, peace, assurance, and promise in our own unprecedented times. For we will give you all the credit and the praise. And it's in your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today, and please stay safe. God bless you. This is Gene, your friend in Christ.